Good evening. This is Evening News on Remo TV. I am Annie Baba Bekelulua. On national news, the president, Major General Muhammad Buhari, has met with the governor of Himo State, Hope Uzodima, at the presidential villa in Abuja on Tuesday. This was disclosed by the personal assistant to the president on media, Buhari Salau who also shared photos from the meeting. President Muhammad Buhari receives Imo State Governor Hope Uzodema State in State House on 23rd February 2021, Salah wrote on Twitter. Though details of the meeting are yet to be disclosed, the meeting may not be unconnected with the recent incidents in Imo State, which saw the arrest of the immediate past governor of the state, Senator Richards Okurucha. Still on national news. Former Minister of Education, Obi Ezekwesidi, has slammed the Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohamed, over his recent comments on school kidnapping. Mohamed had, in an interview with Channel Television, said that developed countries also experience school kidnapping. He said this amid the kidnapping of students and staff of Government Science College, Kagara, in a roughly local government area of Niger State by bandits. The minister said, even in the most developed countries of this world, school kidnapping takes place. Last year, in the US, we all witnessed three or four school kidnappings and that is probably one of the most developed countries in the world. The thing about terrorism is that the terrorists don't live by your own rules and they are especially interested in soft targets. They know that what is going to get global attention is kidnapping school children. We must be careful. We can't send all our schools into barracks. What is important is intelligence gathering surveillance rather than the physical presence of the soldiers or policemen. Mohammed's statement has been described as soulless by Ezekwesili, who was an activist campaigning for the release of the schoolgirls kidnapped by Boko Haram in terrorist Chibok, Bono State, in 2014. Imagine, yet another soulless statement that should not be heard from anyone in public leadership. The cries of Chibok girls and parents, Lea Sheribo and parents Kagera students and parents are judging the statement daily, she wrote on a verified Twitter handle. On international news, a special plane carrying a consignment of Ebola vaccines has landed in Guinea, which will allow a vaccination campaign to begin later on Tuesday. A dust storm in the Sahara had forced the aircraft off course on Sunday when it was diverted to Senegal. Five people have recently died in Guinea from Ebola, the first cases in the region for five years. Between 2013 and 2016, more than 11,000 people died in the West Africa Ebola epidemic, which began in Guinea. In response to the epidemic, vaccines were developed, which have since been successfully used to fight outbreaks in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The focus is to vaccinate those who have come in contact with Ebola patients as well as frontline health workers. On Sports News, Barcelona forward assisted Oshoala scored four goals at the Super Falcons trash Equatorial Guinea 9-0 to emerge champions of the Festival Women's Cup 2021 and Talia on Tuesday. The competition had the Falcons, Equatorial Guinea, Uzbekistan and CSKA Moscow ladies in attendance. Falcons finished as champions with a maximum of nine points from three matches, scoring 11 goals and conceding none. Gloria Ogbona opened the scoring for the nine-time African champions in the ninth minute before Captain Oshoala scored two goals from the sport in the 12th and 13th minute and then added a third in the 26th minute. The hard-working Tony Payne's 43rd minute thunder strike after shooting half two of her opponent ensured that the Falcons took a 7-goal advantage into the half-time break. Falcons coach Randy Waldrum brought on Gift Monday, Ramat Abdul Karim, Esther Sunday, and Miriam Ibrahim for Chiwendu Heuzo, Chiwuchi Dima Okeke, Payne, and Kalu respectively, ensuring all the 23 players for the tournament had the taste of the action. The Nigerians, however, took their foot off the pedal in the second half, but still scored two goals to confine Equatorial Guinea, two-time African champions, to a humiliating defeat. Lastly, on entertainment news. John Mayer is getting emotional about Britney Spears, the Grammy-winning artist, which joined friend and host of Sirius XM's Andy Cohen Live on his radio show Monday morning, where he appeared as a surprise, taking calls from Sirius XM subscribers. The pair also touched on Mayer's personal life and the latest in entertainment news, including the documentary. Mayer revealed that he almost cried five times while watching the revealing document, empathizing with what fame does to a person. I almost cried five times during that, 
the singer revealed. To see the sadness in this human being, I almost, I mean the end, I mean, I was on the edge of tears five times. Because if you understand what this business slash industry slash lifestyle does to a person, to go through this and come out the other side is okay. It's to have infinite grace for those who struggle with it. That is all for Evening News on Remo TV. You can follow us on every of our social media handles on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram at Official Remo TV. You can also check us out on our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I remain Anibaba Bekelolua. Good night.